Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the introduction to inheritance concept and also we have seen the single inheritance. So in this session, let us have a look on the two more inheritance concept that is the multi-level inheritance and the hierarchical inheritance. So now uh, recalling the previous one that is inheritance. What is meant by inheritance? It is a parent-child relationship that means the one class acquiring the properties of another class. So here acquiring the properties means accessing the variables and methods of one class from the other class. So here we are differentiating two different classes as derived class and the base class. So from the base class we are the derived class is acquiring the properties. So similarly the super class and sub class. See. Let us see the multi level inheritance first. Multi level inheritance. So multi level inheritance. So here there will be one parent class. So that means a base class. So one base class. From this there will be a derived class. From this again there will be a derived class. Right. So that means this is the child and this is the parent and this is the child and this is the parent so here this derived class is a child for base class as well as parent for another derived class so this is called a multi-level inheritance right so similarly so this child class that means derived class. let us create a names right so let it be a this is a b and this is a C, right? A, B, and C. So here, B is a child of A. B extends A. So that means object of B can access variables and methods of both B and A. Right? So that, that we have seen in single inheritance. So if B is a derived class from the base class A, the object of B can access both the variables and the methods of both the B and A. Similarly, the C extends B. So C is a child class of parent B. Right? So now object of C can access both the variables and the methods of C and B, classes C and B. Right? So the reverse process C extends B, so C can access both the variables and methods of uh, the classes C and B. And coming to this one, B is again it is a child for another class A. So by creating this object, so this C is a grandchild. Grandchild. So grandchild can access the properties. So object of C can access the variables and the methods of the same class the parent of this class as well as the grandparent of this class hope you understood this one right so it's a grandchild this can acquire the properties that means both the variables and methods of the parent and the grandparent so if you want to access the variables and methods of a we need not create the object of b we can create an object of c and through the object of C, we can access the variables and methods of both B and A. See, let us see an example for this. So I will write a small thing, class A. So I will declare some A is equal to 20. Some 
Y method method I am writing the method Y display right so here I am writing system dot just I will write SOP okay SOP yes system dot out dot print ln a so this will display the class a similarly class b extends a so this is the child class of a so here i am writing int a int uh, some uh, b is equal to 30 similarly i am writing one method void show here also sop system dot out dot print ln i am printing the text b right so i am again writing one more class one more class so that is class c which extends b right which extends b so here i am writing int c is equal to some 50 some void this this system dot out dot print ln c i am printing c now write down the main function three classes we have written three classes right so class multi-level so as it is a multi-level inheritance so here we have to write a main, main function public static void main arguments we have to create an object first the grandchild so c obj is equal to new c so through this object we can access the variables and methods of c b and a because b is a parent of c and a is a parent of b so that means a is a grandparent of c so c can access the variables and methods of both the classes so here directly we can access obj dot this this is the method written in child function i mean child class similarly obj dot show which is written in parent class similarly obj dot display which is written in the grandparent so no need of creating the object for each and every class right so based upon the inheritance we can create we can limit the object creation so this is the multi-level inheritance a simple example now let us see the one more one more inheritance concept that is hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance means there will be one base class and from this base class we can have a more number of derived classes derived class and again derived class right so one parent and multiple chains so this meaning is one parent and multiple chain that is called a hierarchical right so let us give a names a b and c now a is a parent and b and c both are chains children right so b can access the object of b can access the variables and methods of B and A. Similarly, object of C can access the variables and the methods of C and A. But the object of C cannot access the variables and methods of B. So this cannot be done. Right? Because B and C are the siblings, that means two children. So in order to access the methods of A, 
B have to create an object as well as C also have to create an object. So two objects must be created here, right? So let us see an example. Similarly, write down the three classes. We have to write the three classes. Class A, let us take it's a parent class. So int sum A is equal to 20. Some write down the function y display. System dot out dot print ln a. Similarly, class B which extends a because B is a child for class A. So int B is equal to some 30 void show. Again, we are writing some method system dot out dot print ln b right again i am writing one more class class c it also extends a right the same base class two different derived classes so here also let us create a c is equal to some 40 write on the method void some this system dot out dot print ln c close now write on the main function here so class hierarchy right now write on the objects uh, main function here so public static void main some arguments now we can create we have to create two objects in order to access the variables and methods of all these three classes so first let us create an object for c c obj1 is equal to new c F from this object one obj dot this can be accessed similarly obj1 dot display can be accessed because C is a child of A. So object of C can access the variables and methods of class C and class A. Now again we have to create an object for B. B object 2 is equal to new capital B. So through the object 2 we can access the variable I mean the method of B class B as well as the method of A object to display right so here but this through this object we can't access the variables and methods of b because here c and b are the siblings that means two different chains but acquiring the properties of the same base class right so hope you understood this hierarchical inheritance so in this session we have seen the two different types of inheritances that is multi-level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance so now let us uh, see the implementation part of these two things hierarchical and multi-level so there are two more inheritances that is hybrid and uh, multiple so those those are not directly supported by java but by using the interfaces concept we can implement the hybrid inheritance as well as the multiple inheritance right so now let us see the implementation for part of these two that is hierarchical inheritance and multi-level inheritance Hi friends, so now we will see the implementation part of a two more inheritance concept that is a multi level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance. So, in the first, we will see the multi level inheritance. So, as I have said, that the multi level inheritance means there will be a one derived class and one, uh, I mean, one parent class and one parent and child class and one more child class so let us see that so this is a parent class class p so i am just declaring one variable a is equal to 10 and again a method void display so system dot out dot print ln let us take it as a let us display a right 
so let us create a one more child class class c which extends p right so c is a child class and it is derived from the parent class p so here also i will declare some one more variable b is equal to 20 and void display system dot out dot print ln let us use b right now let us create a one more child class so class c chain which extends c so here if you observe p is a parent class and c is a child class which inherits the properties of parent class and here c child is a another child class which inherits the properties of c which is again the child class of p right so this is called a multi level so this is a first level second level and a third level so let us create a one more thing so c is equal to some 30 void show system dot out dot print ln let us print c here see here we will use only display this so first method is display second method is this and the third method is show now let us create a main method class multiple inherit multiple inheritance so public static void main string arguments see if you want to access the variables of variables and methods of a, a class p we have to create an object for the class p right and if you want to access the variables and methods of class c we have to create an object for c and if you want to access the objects and methods of c child we have to create an object for c child but here c child is the child class of c so we, the object of c child can access both the variables and the methods of both the derived class and a parent class that is means c and c child and c and again here c is again the derived class of p so it can directly access the methods and variables of parent class so here we can create only one child i mean one object for c child just like our grandchildren parent child and grandchild okay so we are creating the grandchild so obj is equal to new c child so here by using this one we can access print ln obj dot c similarly obj dot show so these steps will access the variables and the methods of grandchild c child okay so multiple inherit dot java i am saving here now let us compile it java c multiple inherit dot java yes successful compilation java multiple inherit so automatically 30 and c has been displayed here now let us the, through the same object we can also access the variables and methods of parent of c child who is the parent of c child c is the parent of c child so we can access the variables and methods of c also so let us see this one system dot out dot print ln obj dot b 
similarly obj dot this so let us save here again once again let us comp compile it and uh, execute so here we can observe 30 c and 20 b so this is the parent class now here here class c is the parent for c child as well as class c is a child of class p so directly through the object we can access the p variable and methods the variables of i mean the variables and methods of class p right simply we can say that for understanding grandson can acquire the properties of grandfather right So we need not create a, any other object just by using the grandchild object system dot out dot print ln obj dot a so that is a variable of a variable which we are declaring in parent p that means a class p obj dot display this is the method we have written in class p which is the parent of class c so if you execute this one see so first we are printing the child second we are printing the parent of the child and the third we are printing the parent of again b right so hope you understood this one next this is called a multi level multi level inheritance so okay multi level inheritance this is not a multiple this is multi level inheritance right next we'll go with one more inheritance that is hierarchical inheritance so here acquiring the properties of same class so two different base classes i mean one base class and two different derived class from the single base class a multiple number of derived classes will acquire the properties so let us see the p which is a parent class int a which is 20 and let us write uh, method display so let us print here system dot out dot print ln we, we will write here parent right so this is the base class and from the base class we are supposed to acquire the properties to the derived classes so let us write the two derived classes class c extends p so here int b is equal to 20 sorry let us take one more 40 and wide show System dot out dot print print ln child one so the siblings just like our siblings now I will write a one more class class D it also extends P that means a single parent and two children so int c is equal to some 50 and void this system dot out dot print ln child 2 right so now let us write the main function hierarchical inheritance public static void main pass on the arguments so in this argument we need to access I mean in order to access the parent uh, variables and methods we have to create an object for child here we are having two childs and in order to access the variables and methods of uh, child 1 we have to create an object for c and if you want to access the variables and methods of child 2 we have to uh, uh, create an object for class d 
so only one object is not required for accessing all the variables and methods because here you are using two children so capital c from obj1 is equal to new capital c so this is the class c object for class c which can access the both the variables and methods of both the classes c and p so here we can write System dot out dot println obj one dot b. Similarly, obj one dot show. Right. So this is the child variable and child method. Now let us uh, access the parent variable and parent method. Obj one dot a obj dot obj1 dot display right so this is accessing so hi that dot java right now let us compile it hi that dot java java hierarchy see here 40 and child 1 because this is the object created for child 1 right so 40 child 1 20 parent so in order to access the variables and methods of d we have to again create a method for object for d child so d object 2 is equal to new d so here through this object we can access all the variables and methods of parent and chain so who is the parent of d that's nothing but a I, I mean p class p right so here c and this is this so this is the object 2 object 2 because object 2 is the object for now let us execute this one right so first one 40 child 1 20 parent 50 child 2 20 parent so here two child so two objects has been created and by using two objects we are accessing both the parent and child class variables and methods so this is called a hierarchy that means one base class and a multiple derived class right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, multi level inheritance and the hierarchical inheritance feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions uh, like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much